Like they didn't bother us. I mean, if it was if we was up six, I would have said something. But we up to t double digits, so I, I didn't really think nothing of it. And together, we just stuck together and just got through it. How about you turn that around personally? I mean, you struggled shooting in the first half. It's been a while, and then you come out and. Uh... They told me just play with a smile on my face. I mean, I haven't. I'm not to say I haven't been happy, but I haven't been playing like I wanted to play, and I just been stressing it a lot, and really just tried to forget about it and just come out and play my game in the second half. And I came out and started making some shots. So they told you to play with a smile on your face. At, at one point on the defensive possession, you never took the smile off your face. I mean, how, you know, is it that kind of day that you just, everything's going right? Yeah, everything's just going, we just had to bounce. Everything was going our way. And the point, I, I started smiling the whole play because Coach Holland was just telling me, don't get beat off the dribble. And I told him, I took a charge. <laughs> and, and, I took, and I took a charge. So that's why I really was smiling on the possession. How much of a weight lifted is this to, to <coughs> go from, what, like 25 of 106 or something to, to this? I mean, it's big. I mean, just a great thing for us, great thing for the organization. I mean, um, I say about that. How much did uh, Hugs' technical get everybody jacked up? It just had us pumped, and the great thing that was about it, our fans was in it tonight with us, and it was like a six man out there, and they helped us out a lot, honestly. So that technical was really nothing to us. We just came out, stuck together, got through it, and um, got some stops and made some baskets. Frank, did it give you guys any extra motivation to have all these players here today watching? Yeah, it definitely did, because I spoke to a couple of them, a couple of point guards, Lowe's Moore and Selton Jefferson, and... Um, they just told me. I, I they know you. I know um, they know I'm struggling right now, but just keep playing. I'll make shots. I'll make shots. I'll make plays. And I came out tonight and, and did that. And I, it was funny because I seen both of them after the game. So it was great just to see all the players back and, um, for them to watch us. And it was just a great environment. Tonight. Yeah, we did. Um, you know, I think um, you know, one thing that's really been hurting us is our lack of offense has really uh, you know put pressure on our defense. And uh, you know, every possession has become even more important. And I, I don't think we realize that. So. When we came in today, we were able to make shots, and I think we, we fed off making shots, and we played, uh, you know, we played pretty good defense. It's easier to play a game when you, you make some shots and you don't have to work so hard to try to get shots? Yeah, I mean, when you shoot you know, 25, 26% from the field, and, you, know, you start to get discouraged, and then you, know, you start to uh, you know, get demeanor kind of changes, and, and you don't really uh, have the energy to go back on defense. You know? So today, we did a good job of, um, you know, of, of making shots and really feeding off of it for, uh, for our defense. You know, and we played for 40 minutes. You know, I always How much was the four days off? Did that help you with your legs a little bit, the time off um, between them? I mean, I think it did. I think it helped us more mentally. You know, we were able to get away. Um, you know, we didn't have to come straight off of a loss right into another game. And, uh, you know, I think it was kind of grueling. So, you know, we were able to take some time. And we kind of, we didn't rush this scouts. So, you know, I thought we did a pretty good job of that. Joe, because, uh, you know, the last few games, because of the shooting difficulties, you guys have been trying to get it in close. You know, you guys were able to get some points out on the perimeter today. Uh, you know, what, what was that like? And, you know, what, uh, anything behind it? Well, that's the missing piece to, right. to almost uh, the last five, six games of our season. We weren't able to put the ball in the basket. You know, we always had the, the, uh, the defense to get there. We held teams up 22, 24 points in the first half. So I think that was just a missing piece. And, you know, we finally put a full game together. You know, we didn't turn the ball over. We made shots and we defended. I mean, you and Chuck, I think, combined for 40 at the, today. I mean, that's kind of what you're talking about. Now. I mean, we really took well that, and we really took it as a challenge, um, you know, to really go against their guard. And I think, um, you know, they're one of the better teams in the conference, and we really wanted to match their toughness and intensity. Were you able to use their size a little bit to your advantage, the fact that they were a lot taller in the back? Oh, yeah, I mean, they didn't... Um, no, especially on ball screens, you know, like I don't think they were as quick as hedging the ball screens, and so we were able to kind of get around them and kind of get into the lane. And you know, when you have good shooters in there, and when we are making shots, then they can't help them, and then uh, you know, drives to the basket become that much easier.